Definitely in a rush this morning, given that we have severely overslept, so that is going to have to do. Bit of lip gloss, I feel like we'll be fine. Need to get some socks and we need to get going because we are seriously late this morning. But anyway, happy Sunday guys, I hope you're all well. Quick little outfit of the day, I've got my long sleeve top on from Topshop, I got this on ASOS. Jeans are Abercrombie, I feel like I will never shut up about these Abercrombie jeans now because I love them so much. Also, don't mind the mess in here, I know there's a lot going on. Are you in for a little wee? Oh. Bloody Lewis Hamilton in the car today. God, my mouth is so dry. Same. I mean, we did wake up literally 20, minutes, 20 minutes ago. It is currently Mother's Day as we're starting this vlog. We're on our way to the olive tree. Is it the olive tree brasserie or just the olive tree? Just call it the olive tree, but olive I think tree. it's actually called the olive tree brasserie. Yeah. In Stockton Heath, which we have actually been to a couple of times. Um, we went once for my birthday with a few friends and we've been once the two of us. But we're going for a Mother's Day breakfast with Dan's mom, dad, sister, and George. <laughs> sister and George, Holly just, and George. Just, just George. <laughs> Group chat that has me and George in. So obviously not like fully part of the family, but part of the family, I would yeah, say. And you absolutely are a part of the family. It's called The Infiltrators because it has me and George in and we have infiltrated the family. Yeah, we're off to Stockton Heath. We are, as I've said about three times, running fairly late. We may or may not have gone to the traffic centre last night. Running around like headless chickens, oh my stuff up there for wasn't much our mothers. Around, it was so manic. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it was very busy. I forget how busy the traffic centre gets for a Saturday night, but it's kind of funny because we've actually ended up pretty much getting our mums the same gifts. Like they've got pretty much everything matching. I may as well show you what's around the way what we've got showering because none of this has been wrapped either because we've not had the time to wrap it this morning. It's, it's in a gift bag. It's in a gift bag. It's fine. And she won't mind. So I didn't actually realise that they stopped Elizabeth Scarlett and John Lewis. But as we were going to the till yesterday, we saw all of these really gorgeous um, travel bags. And anyone that watched my what I got for Christmas, it was basically like my first vlog of the year. My mum got me a really gorgeous, um, like big, chunky travel bag, kind of like an overnight bag from Elizabeth Scarlett. She's got me a few things from Elizabeth Scarlett over the years. Um, she's actually the one that introduced me to this brand. And one of my favorite things about the travel bag that she got me is that it actually helps the turtles. So when you purchase something from like the turtle range, what does it actually say? It says it helps with protection of sea turtle hatchlings in the Dutch Caribbean. So we saw this little travel kind of like makeup bag and we got that for showering. I think she's really gonna like that. I think she will. Everyone in Dan's side of the family really likes turtles so We're we got her. turtle and tortoise obsessed. Yes. Like I have a tortoise, I have a turtle tattoo on my leg. Yeah. Like, we're just, There's yeah, a big we're turtle in. theme in the family yes. so this was the last one and we were like we can't not get it for her so we got her a little turtle bag. We also got her a little hand set from William Morris. My nana actually got me some hand creams from William Morris uh, for Christmas and so far I really really like them. So this one has a hand cream, a hand scrub and a little cuticle cream as well. And then we also got her, oh my god we actually have got the same gifts for them both. Yeah, they yeah, literally have matching gifts. So we got them some Neom diffuser oils. My mum actually mentioned that she needed some of these because she can't find any of hers at home and she loves her Neom diffuser. We really love ours as well. <laughs> what is going on with this road? Oh my God. Last but not least, one of my favorite gifts to ever get and give. Again, I feel like I speak about these candles so much. They're by Scandinavis. Every single scent in this candle line is beautiful, which I feel like I can't say very often for candles. Like I, I'm quite fussy with scents and I, I, as I say, I'm quite fussy with candles in general now. I only really like to get natural wax, soy wax candles. If you ever wanna get a gift for someone and you wanna pick a candle, but you're worried about it not being a good scent, anything from this brand it smells delicious so we got sharon the koto this one's quite warm i'd say so it's vanilla beans dried orange peel amber and vintage leather so yeah that is all of sharon's mother day gifts mother day mother's day mother's gifts day. <laughs> Look, it's a giraffe!
Such a little angel. You are such a little angel. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you okay? Do you feel a bit better after that? Better out than in and all. Oh my god, I actually can't believe I've just got that on camera because he burps like that all the time. Definitely gets it from his mom. You are just my favourite thing in the world. There, there it is. Like, give me a treat for that burp, please. He's always after a big drink. Like, after a big drink, he lets out some of the most impressive burps I've ever seen. Anyway, I don't even know how to, out of all of that, to be honest. I've just been editing this vlog, and thank goodness I started editing it today because I've realized that all of the clips from yesterday I accidentally filmed in slow motion, so basically everything that I vlogged yesterday is not usable. So it's now Tuesday. To be honest, it wasn't a particularly exciting day yesterday anyway, so it's fine. I'm just glad that I checked the footage and actually started editing it today because if I'd got to the whole week and filmed the whole vlog in slow motion, I probably actually would have cried. I've done that quite a few times on this camera because I have actually switched my vlogging camera from a Canon to a Sony. And I do really like this camera because I feel like the quality is a little bit better and you can also change the lens on this camera. It's just, I don't know, it's a, it's a bit sneaky the way it sometimes like switches over to slow motion. I mean, it doesn't do it by itself. It's literally a button that is next to the record button on top of the camera. So it's very easy just to click it. Anyway, let me stop waffling because it's actually not that interesting. It's basically now Tuesday. It's actually been a pretty fun morning so far. I've been filming a job for Hotel Chocolat for TikTok. Let me show you guys these Easter eggs because I actually can't get over them. This week is the last week now of 75 Hard and I can't actually believe it's nearly over. Like it feels like it's gone so quick, even though there's been times where it's really felt like it's dragged. Now that I'm at the end of it, it I don't know, it just feels like it's flown by. I'm actually kind of sad that it's over just because... I mean, I don't even know, I can't even explain why I feel sad that it's over because I will definitely still be doing a lot of what I've done throughout 75 hard in just day-to-day -day life. But yeah, I don't know, it's just been, it's been like the only thing that I've really sort of focused on and committed to so far this year, I guess. I don't know, it feels like it's become my whole personality at this point. So the fact that I've nearly finished I mean, I'm so proud of myself because I feel like I've done such a good job of sticking to it. Other than the days here and there where I've missed workouts um, or I've not like fully done the reading. But I feel like for the most part, I've pretty much successfully done it. And as I have probably said many times, throughout 75 Hard, I haven't been having any sort of treats, chocolate. I've not had any chips, any crisps, any, I don't know. Anything that is just like sweet chocolatey and my manager Rebecca messaged me not long ago about a job that had come through for Hotel Chocolat and I remember saying to her at the time please tell me this is for after 75 hard because I love Hotel Chocolat so much. I have worked with them once before on TikTok. The TikTok that I'm filming for them is going live the day after I finish 75 Hard. So today is obviously Tuesday. My last day is gonna be Friday. So I think today is 70, day 72. I honestly don't think I've ever been so excited about a job in my life because the Easter eggs that they have sent, just for reference, this is one of the Easter eggs. This is one of the ostrich eggs that Hotel Chocolat do. 
it weighs a kilo. In fact, no, I think it weighs over a kilo. So you get over a kilo of chocolate. It is the thickest Easter egg I have ever seen. I have gotten it out. I opted to get the patisserie egg, I think this is. So it's half cookies and cream, half brownie, which as soon as I saw that on the website, that literally sounds like my dream. I love anything cookies and cream. Oh my god, like even the smell of it. I cannot wait to eat this on Saturday. Is that not the most beautiful Easter egg you've ever seen? And it is so thick. Like that Easter eggs are the thickest Easter eggs I've ever seen. I just also think they're a gorgeous brand to shop with. I mean, they do have smaller eggs as well. So this is, again, one of the extra thick eggs. So it still has that really thick shell. What a treat. Like what a gorgeous job to have as my first job after 75 Heart. It was just timed perfectly. And I just, I don't know, I'm just so excited about it. So grateful that I get to do this. Like the fact that I get to do this and this is part of like... I don't know, my job and my day-to-day -day life, it's just, I will never not be grateful to be able to do this. So yeah, I've been filming a couple of little bits for that this morning, ready for it to go live on Saturday. And we do actually have a really fun week planned for the last week of 75 Hard. So tonight we're actually going to Phoenix. I think it's pronounced Phoenix. It's a new, I wanna say it's a Greek restaurant maybe in town. Um, I know Mads has been, I think Mads and Rachel went to the opening and I know Mads has been since and Millie's been since and they've all completely raved about it. And we were actually supposed to go at the start of this year but I got the booking date wrong. So we ended up missing the reservation. Um, but I was speaking to Milana when me and Dan did the sort of bridal shoot for her recently. And she's really been wanting to go as well. So we're all going to go on like a little double date to Phoenix this evening, which will be so lovely. As I said, Friday is going to be the last day of 75 hard. And then me and Dan are actually going to London this weekend. This again just worked out perfectly timing wise because for Dan's birthday this year, so his birthday was the 5th of January. And I was kind of stuck on what to get him because I feel like I've bought him all of his sort of like bigger gifts or he's bought himself basically everything that he would ever need. So I ended up planning just like a lot of date nights and then I booked different sort of things and activities for us to do throughout the year. So we're doing one of them on Friday. So we're actually going to the Royal Albert Hall on Friday night whilst we're in London to see one of the films in concert, um, which is something that I came across online and it just looks amazing. So they basically do a whole range of like really iconic films and then they have a live orchestra playing the score whilst the film is playing so i saw that they're doing one for the third lord of the rings and dan loves the lord of the rings some of his favorite films of all time i just think the fact that there's going to be a live orchestra playing the score i don't know everything about it just looks incredible it's got really incredible reviews and we also just really love going to see musicians, live music. For one of our first dates, we went to see Einaudi, which was probably one of my favorite dates we've ever done. I would go and see him again in a heartbeat. Like I cried my eyes out because I, I don't know what it is, something about music. I just think, I don't know, it's just such an experience. And I think seeing the film, but also having the music live will just be something really special. So I booked that for Friday night and then we're in London Friday night and Saturday night. I don't know what we're gonna do whilst we're there for the rest of the weekend, probably use the spa in the hotel, have a drink because I'll be able to have a drink by then. Um, and it just worked out perfectly. And I saw it was Friday the 15th of March, which is the last day of our 75 hard. I was like, that is just meant to be, that is just perfect. So we're having a little weekend away. Mom's gonna have Freddy. And yeah, it's just been like a really nice thing to look forward to. I think we're actually gonna go and stay at my mom and dad's Thursday night as well because we also need to take Freddy. So we'll probably stay Thursday night, get the train down to London from Lancaster on the Friday and then get the train back up and then it just means we can go straight back to mum and dad's and then drive home on the Sunday. I just, I can't wait, I'm so excited. We've not really had like a proper weekend away yet this year. Oh, he's having a little snuggle. Little I'm just saying we're going to London this weekend to no. see the Lord of, what's the, wait, no. What's the third Lord of the Rings called? So we have the Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> This is a person who thinks The Hobbit is better than Lord of the Rings. So I I'm think like, it is. You're wrong. I don't feel like, in fact, no, that probably is an unpopular opinion. But it's maybe a not, heavily maybe unpopular not amongst opinion. younger people who will have probably seen The Hobbit first. No, no, that's a heavily unpopular opinion. <laughs> the Hobbit is probably 
Well, the Hobbit trilogy is my favourite. Are my favourite films. I was about to say they are, they are your favourite films. So yeah, like, I, I watch them at least once a year. We used to have a um, like a family tradition where me, mum, dad, and Charlie would go to the cinema every Christmas Eve, and the Hobbit was always like a Christmas release. So that's what we saw every Christmas Eve that it was out. So it's yeah, it's kind of like a family thing as well. Oh, I kind of I forgot that we did that. Oh, this used to be so cute. Sometimes I think about the fact that like, we'll never, me, mom, dad and Charlie will never live together again and it makes me want to cry. Do you ever think about that? Like, I don't know. I feel like once you've moved out of home and you don't live with your mom and dad and your siblings anymore, it's almost like, oh, like, not that I didn't appreciate, well, no, no, actually I probably didn't appreciate that time enough. Because I feel like, we were talking about this the other day, like when you're younger and when you're little, I feel like you always want to grow up. And then when you're an adult, it's like, oh, I really wish I'd appreciated being younger more. Yeah, I get that. And not like wished your childhood away. It's a bit like when you live at home, like me, mum, dad and Charlie are never going to live together again now. You never knew anything differently though when you were young. No. Anyway, are you making some lunch? Yeah, I'm so, so hungry. I need to go out for my walk, so I'm gonna do that now. Literally just bombed it down the stairs. He's very excited. He's like, come on, I want to go. Having one of those days where I'm just not feeling super great mentally. I feel like I get like this a lot when it's PMS time. It's probably PMS symptoms, to be honest. I mean, I think I might be due on. I don't really know because my cycle is really weird at the minute since I came off the coil. But I'm just not feeling very great today. Um, so I've not really been vlogging much. To be fair, I've not done a whole lot other than some editing and nothing else really. <laughs> There's nothing really to report. It's about two o'clock now and I have been putting off going on my outdoor walk all day. I always find this when Freddie's at daycare. There's just no reason or motivation for me to want to go on an outdoor walk because Obviously every day that I take Freddie for a walk, I have to take Freddie for a walk. And I also really enjoy taking him for a walk. But on the days when he's not here, it's just like, oh, I just can't be bothered like going out and walking, especially when the weather's like this. I mean, we had so much sun last week and it's just rained the whole week so far. I think I'm gonna wear this little zip up from my grants. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Honestly, like I just feel like I'm in such a funk, which is so stupid because I've been in such a good mood recently and I have absolutely nothing to be in a funk about. This is why I think it might be PMS related. So I've just got back from my walk and I have to admit, I do actually feel a little bit better. It's crazy what a bit of fresh air and light exercise can do. I also made an effort not to take my phone because usually when I go for a walk, I'll always take my phone and I'll always listen to music because I love listening to music when I'm walking, doing any sort of exercise. But today I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna leave my phone at home. I feel like that's sometimes the issue as well. I've spent a lot of time on my phone today and a lot of time looking at my laptop whilst I've been editing. And sometimes I feel like that's actually half the problem. So it's quite nice to just go out, not have any music, just enjoy the walk and the fresh air. Um, and yeah, I actually feel a lot better. I feel like my head feels a bit clearer now. Okay, excuse the state of me. I'm about to get a shower, so I've just whacked my hair on top of my head. I've made a decision this evening because Dan is currently out at football and I just have a tendency when Dan's out in the evenings 
to just sit and scroll on TikTok, it's actually so bad. As soon as I'm on TikTok, I can spend hours on TikTok. So I've made a decision that I'm gonna have a phone-free evening and we're gonna have a nice pamper evening. I'm not gonna go on my phone, I've switched it off, which is actually something that I wanted to do more of after going on our like little digital detox last year. I did actually vlog that trip. I never got around to posting it because a lot of the footage filmed in slow motion. So what I said that I did on Monday where I filmed a bunch of clips in slow motion and they were completely ruined, I did a lot of that on the unplugged trip. I think I do still have a few of the clips from when we went. If you want to see like a full little video on it, then let me know and I'll try and edit it. But after going on that trip, I told myself that I wanted to do more mini digital detoxes because I literally had the best time. I'm actually looking at booking another one for just like spring summertime because oh my god I felt so at peace. The whole concept is that you basically go to a little cabin for three days. I think it's is three days three to four days and when you get there you lock away your phone so you don't have a phone you don't have tv you don't have literally anything electronic all you really have is board games you have a little radio and then obviously you have everything that you need in your cabin so like a bed um, a little kitchen area, bathroom, that kind of thing, but you don't have anything electrical. I literally had the best time. I felt so at peace. I didn't want it to end. Like I remember it got to the last night and I was like, I really wish that we weren't going home tomorrow because I, at that point I didn't even want to switch my phone on. I was like, this has just been so relaxing. I feel like my brain has actually switched off for once because I've not been sat scrolling on my phone for hours like I tend to do and then I did tell myself that I wanted to come home and start making more of an effort to have digital detoxes and I just forgot <laughs> so that's what we're going to do this evening we're going to have a little bit of a phone detox I think I might just do my express tan tonight so last night I used my Bondi Sands tan eraser I always have to use a tan eraser. I actually don't know what I did before tan erasers were a thing. I used to scrub my skin raw, <laughs> is what I used to do. And then my current favorites, I mean, I say my current favorites, they're kind of like forever favorites at this point. Um, but if you ever wanna know what tan I'm wearing, it's usually Barley Body. So I have the Ultra Dark Mousse, and then I also have the Ultra Dark One Hour Express. I don't know which one to do tonight. I'm kind of tempted to do an express because I can't really be bothered sleeping in it. I really hate sleeping in tan. Is anyone else like that? I just, I don't know, like the feeling of it. I just feel like I'm not comfortable when I get into bed. But I think it's about eight o'clock now. It might have to be a proper tan. So yeah, at the minute, tanning routine, I tend to use one of these mousses first and then I always use, in fact, let me get let me get all my products out, one sec. Freddie's nice and sleepy now that he's been to daycare today. It's always like a treat on a Wednesday because we have a really quiet, I mean, I say it's a treat. Obviously, I do miss him when he's gone, but we have a very quiet day because Freddie's at daycare and then Dan's at football in the evening, but Freddie's also flat out because he's been at daycare all day, so... I just have a very quiet day and a very quiet evening and it actually feels quite nice. So yeah, I tend to start with one of the mousses as like my main tan and then a few days after, so once it started to like come off a little bit, that's when I start using my I Love Paradise. So this is the tanning water in medium. You can use this by itself as well. Like I do occasionally use this just on its own as an all over initial tan. The thing that I do really like about this is it's clear so you don't need to worry about it staining anything. It feels a lot more hydrating as well I would say compared to the mousses. So I quite like using this a few days afterwards mostly on my chest because I feel like tan doesn't stick to my chest as well as it does the rest of my body. And then in terms of my face I really like the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops. These are again in the shade medium so I mix these in with a moisturizer and then throughout the week I use my Garnier face tan. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's a really nice sort of like fine mist as well. Okay I've just had a shower. I thought I'd quickly talk you through like the full tan prep because I do get questions about this sometimes so just to give you like the full sort of rundown of how I like to do my tan prep is always the night before so I use my Bondi Sands tan eraser I have this kind of little exfoliating mitt current body wash I actually recently got from Cult Beauty this is the Sol de Janeiro 
Beja Floor. Oh my goodness, this smells incredible. It smells like strawberries and cream. Like it smells so sweet, so delicious. My face wash in the shower is the Medicaid Lipid Balance Cleansing Oil. So far, I really, really like this. I've also been using the Medicaid, it's like the Retinol number no. three. So I have the moisturizer and the eye cream. Really been loving those as well. So everything that I've tried from Medicaid so far, I really like. Obviously I shave, so I always try and shave the night before as well, just to give my skin a little bit of like a break. So I have my Estrid razor. I use my body wash as kind of like, almost like shaving cream as well. And then last night, because my skin has been quite dry recently, so in the shower, I also use my Vive bath body and massage oil. This again, smells delicious. It smells a little bit more sort of like rich. It smells darker, if that makes any sense. I put this on afterwards because my skin always gets very dry after I scrub it and shave. So I always recommend doing any sort of like shaving, scrubbing, doing that the night before and then making sure you hydrate your skin with either like a body oil or a moisturizer. I always like to do that the night before so that by the time I tan the next night, my skin feels nice and soft and sort of like primed and ready for tan. I'm gonna do serum first. Tonight I'm gonna use the Ren Ever Hydrate Serum. I really, really like this line of skincare from Ren at the minute. Then I am actually gonna add a tiny bit of face oil. This one is from Drunk Elephant. These are a lot of like my favorites for skincare at the minute. I need to work on like not <laughs> scrubbing my face when I apply skincare. Just using soft lifting. Oh, I just did it again. Soft sweeps. And then eye cream, I'm using the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream from Cosrix. So far I think I like this eye cream. It's a lot different than other eye creams I've used in the sense that it's a little bit more fluid and less creamy. Okay, and then we're gonna do moisturizer and the Isle of Paradise drop. So I have my Inky List moisturizer and what I like to do is just scoop probably about like that much out just pop it on my hand and then I'm gonna do a good amount of these drops so I have like a pretty full pipette I'm just gonna pop that on the moisturizer and then mix 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 again these drops seem to work pretty well with my skin because there are some fake tans that definitely seem to irritate my skin a little bit and you want to make sure you really sort of like get all areas so around your eyes the hairline i mean don't go crazy around the hairline i take this down my neck because i find that my neck and my chest don't tan as easily so this just gives like an extra little base okay and then always important to wash your hands after using those drops because they will stain okay and then for my body obviously i'm going to use Bali body mousse um i always always moisturize any sort of like dry patches of my skin so my ankles i also moisturize here because i find that like the skin around my armpit gets a little bit dry as well or like tan tends to cling there i'm going to use the sol de janeiro um elastic cream and then after those many many steps it's finally time to tan absolutely stunning always feel 10 times better once the tan is on For anyone that follows me on tiktok you will have already seen this book that i recently got it was one of the mystery books that I picked up from Waterstones. I'm pretty sure they are still doing that. At least when I recently went into Waterstones, they still had their little mystery book section. So I picked two of them up and I unboxed them or unwrapped them on TikTok. And this was one of the books that I got. It's called The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. So I think as part of my kind of mini digital detox this evening, I'm going to start this book because I've not really done a lot of reading recently. The quote for this book was, gazed up at her like she was fire and he was fuel. I'm excited to read it. I've never really read anything fantasy before. I don't know what has just happened. You are literally passed out. Two seconds ago, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Good morning, guys. It's now Thursday. I'm currently in my little office, which is also the guest room. It looks kind of bare from this angle because there's nothing on this wall. I am debating 
putting a few prints up there. I've just written a little bit of a to-do list of things that I want to get done today before we go to my mom and dad's later. First thing that I've put down is that I want to wash the bed in. So I have stripped the bed this morning. I always like to do this when I'm going away because I just feel like there's nothing better than coming home to fresh bed sheets. I also want to edit this vlog or get as much of this vlog edited as I can so that I don't have to do as much over the weekend because I'm going to try and get this up for Sunday. I'm really trying to stay consistent with YouTube at the minute. I also have some TikToks that I want to edit so I'm going to try and do that at the same time and then whilst I'm doing all of my editing I'm going to do my indoor workout as a little walk on the treadmill. I was saying this to Dan earlier I feel like given that this is the last week of 75 hard my workouts have been pretty boring this week they've literally just been indoor walks and pilates which is what I do most of the time anyway. We also obviously need to take Freddie on a walk so that will be the outdoor workout of the day as well. He's currently can't really see him but he's currently tucked up after we've done that we then need to pack for london i think i'm definitely gonna have to take a case seeing as we're doing two nights i've got quite a few outfits that i want to take as well and i did also do some shopping yesterday on asos and house of cb so fingers crossed those orders come today because i wanted to get some like cute new things <laughs> Most of my editing I'm going to do the rest probably this evening. All of my parcels have arrived so I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got from ASOS, House of CB and Look Fantastic. I wanted to try some new lashes and take some new lashes to London this weekend. I've got two pairs of Kiss lashes and two pairs of Isla lashes. I've not actually tried many Isla lashes I don't think. I've just had a quick look and I think just from the packaging these ones are probably going to be my favourite. So these are the Isla Lux Cashmere number six. Just look like so. I feel like it's a bit dark in here actually, isn't it? Let me, should I put a light on maybe? I don't know why it's so dark in here. It's just quite like a gray day outside. Those are the Lux Cashmere lashes. They just look like a really nice length and a nice amount of kind of like winged. I also picked up these from Isla. They are the volume number 112. Um, they kind of look a little bit like lash extensions. And then from Kiss, I got, I think, the are these both the faux? No, one of them's the faux mink and the other is the tapered lash. So from the faux mink collection, I got the style Little Black Dress. I think I have had these lashes before. And I mean, I love Kiss lashes. Um, they're really comfortable and really like easy to apply. So I got those ones. And then I also got the style So Wispy, which kind of look a little bit like the Isla lashes in terms of the lash band. I also got some suspender tights from Amazon. So I'm gonna get these out in a second because I've kind of tried to plan a couple of outfits in mind for this weekend because I really wanna get some content as well. I feel like I've really been slacking on Instagram recently. It's the one platform that like, I've just not posted on. From ASOS, we've got a big old box of goodies. First off, got this bag from Glamorous. I really love this kind of dark wine red color that's quite in at the minute. I mean, I feel like I'm a bit late to the bandwagon because we are going to be coming into spring soon, but I don't really have a lot of like colored bags. I tend to just have neutral bags and I also quite liked the style of this bag. It just, I don't know. I feel like for a little shoulder bag, it's just, yeah, it's just quite a cute size. And then I got quite a few grey skirts from ASOS because I wanted like a cute grey skirt to go with a corset that I've got from House of CB. So I'm going to have to try these bits on because it's going to be impossible for you to see. But I got a long sort of like pinstripe maxi skirt. This one I actually thought would be perfect for the grey high neck sweater that I wore in my last vlog to Vista Village from Zara. This I just thought would be perfect for it. It's like a knitted 
um, kind of pleated mini skirt. I think this is Miss Selfridge actually. Miss Selfridge has so many cute pieces on ASOS at the minute. I feel like they've just got so many really nice like feminine, girly like skirts, tops, lots of bows going on for anyone that likes the whole sort of like bows trend. I mean, I used to work at Miss Selfridge so I will always love Miss Selfridge. But yeah, I saw this skirt and the fact that it's kind of like a knitted material as well, I thought, you know what, that's actually really quite cute and it looks like it'll be comfy. So I'm gonna try it to see if it looks like a two piece. What else have we got? Okay, so this is the bodysuit. It looks tiny. It actually, I'm sorry, is that gonna fit me? And there's a lot of stretch, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I got a size small. I liked the white sort of strip going around the top because the skirt that I got, which I think is from Bershka. Yeah, again, it has this kind of like white lining on the waistband. It's like a little black pleated skirt. So I thought this, the bodysuit, the stocking tights could all look quite cute. Okay, and then we have cargo skirt. So again, I think this is to go with the corset that I got from House of CB. It's like a little gray cargo skirt. It looks quite big actually. Another skirt to go with my House of CB corset. Skirts are another thing, like denim, I always find very hard to fit. Just because I sometimes struggle with things fitting my waist, but also my hips. So I like to order extra bits just to sort of see, because obviously it's really easy to return with ASOS. And then I got a few pairs of lower black court shoes because I don't really have any sort of like smaller black um, heels. Hey, and then from House of CB, so this is the corset that I got. We sort of see the vision that's happening. Yeah, I feel like if it all fits, it could look quite cute. So that was the first thing that I got. It's kind of just like a lace up. It has got like a bit of a pattern on the fabric. I also got this sweater. It feels so soft. I think this is actually cashmere. I just thought it was so cute. It's quite like a warm cream, to be honest, in terms of the colour. I thought it was going to be a bit more white. I just thought it was really like cute and classy. Thought maybe with, well, I was hoping it was going to be more white, to be honest. I'm going to see if I've got any sort of similar coloured trousers to go with it because I feel like that would look quite cute. I just put this corset on. I have to say it's actually a little bit big. So I've got a decent amount of room to sort of pull these straps in. So this is the cargo skirt. I just tried the denim one on and I actually feel like that one would have been better, but it's way too big for me. So I might see if I've got a different skirt to go with this, but I do quite like the whole sort of like cherry red and the gray. To be fair, I actually quite like this corset with these jeans. I feel like with a pair of little heels, like my new Max Mara heels, this would be quite cute. Okay, next up we have the skirt. I've just thrown like a white shirt on with it for now. What do we think? I feel like with boots, this could be quite cute. Okay, so next up we have the bodysuit, the skirt and the tights. I've, it kind of looks weird because I can't decide like what looks better. Do we think tights or no tights? Kind of looks a little bit like made-ish. What do we think? I mean, I've not put these on properly really. I also just paired these together as well. So the cashmere jumper from House of CB. Um, I quite like this as well because you can kind of adjust the neckline. Sorry, this strap is taking up a lot of space, but you can kind of adjust the neckline with the button so you can make it kind of like as high or as open as you want it to be. <laughs> wait to sort these baby hairs out later because my hair has just looked crazy this entire vlog but I don't even care this morning because it's Friday it's day 75 of 75 hard we are at the last day I cannot believe day 75 is here I actually can't believe it I'm just gonna quickly get dressed because obviously me and Dan are off to London today not gonna lie I had an absolutely terrible night's sleep which is the beauty of having Freddie here and also you know, having Crunch and Frizz here, who are two very elderly kiddies at this point. I mean, literally, someone had me up every couple of hours, so I've barely slept, had some very strange nightmares. I woke up feeling very disorientated, but it's fine because it's day 75 of 75 Heart. Like, I'm literally in the best mood. Nothing can ruin this mood for me, honestly. I could not be happier right now. I am so proud of myself. I cannot believe I've gone 75 days 
well, I was about to say no alcohol. I can't actually believe that. I knew that was going to be the easiest part. 75 days with no pizza, burgers, chips, chocolate, sweets, everything that I would usually eat every single week. I cannot believe I've actually committed to doing that for 75 days. I just feel so great. I feel so healthy. I feel fitter. I just, I don't know. I feel like this whole thing has actually been life-changing in a lot of ways. That sounds so dramatic, but... I just feel like I'm in such a good place and I feel like I've got myself into such a good routine. I'm back vlogging again. Like I'm just, I just feel like excited about life again. I look absolutely horrendous this morning. <laughs> um, so please excuse that, but I'm gonna take Fred for a walk and that is gonna be my last two workouts of 75 hard, which is maybe a little bit of a boring um, last day. But obviously me and Dan are going to London today. So we're getting the train at about half 11. We'll probably get to the hotel at about three. And then I'm pretty much just gonna have to get ready because we're going out at about six. So the only time I've got to do my workouts is right now. So I'm gonna do an hour and a half walk. So that will be both workouts basically back to back. Um, and I really love the walking route around my mom and dad's. I mean, I have like vlogged little bits of it every now and then. Um, but it's just such a gorgeous walking route. It makes the time go so quickly. So we're gonna do a nice long walk so that Fred is hopefully passed out for the rest of the day for my mom and dad as well. And then yeah, we're gonna head to London and have a gorgeous weekend. <laughs> So we're now in London. We've just checked into our hotel. Currently, I think it's about half three. So I'm just quickly pin curling my hair just to give it a little bit of time to set. If I ever have extra time, I always like to do this when I curl my hair because I do find that it lasts a lot longer. So I'm just using my GHD curlers and then I've got a bunch of these clips from Amazon. They're just like curl clips i think they're kind of designed to basically like not crimp the curl this is actually a new curler for me i think it's the ghd is that what it's called the ghd curve i'm not using it how it probably should be used i remember when i was in ibiza with millie she had this curler and she was really laughing at the way that i was using it because i've never taught myself how to use a curler with the clip so i realize i'm probably not using this the correct way i do actually need to teach myself how to do it but i'm just using it how i would use a normal curling barrel i'm so excited to go out tonight i'm so excited to be here i love this hotel so much it just always feels like such a treat um when we stay here i have just ordered some room service as well because i think we're gonna be heading out at about six o'clock and i've only really had like quite a small snacky breakfast from costa this morning Dan's currently in the shower so i think once i've eaten i'm gonna hop in the shower get in a robe is there any better feeling than getting in a hotel robe i think not Okay, quick little outfit of the night because we need to run out of the door right now. Did I try this on yesterday? No, I tried the skirt on, but not the skirt with the top. So this is what I kind of had in mind. They're a slightly different shade of gray, but I feel like you can only really tell if you're really looking. I feel like it actually looks quite cute together. So top is from Zara. The skirt is Miss Selfridge. Boots are from ASOS. And then I've got my little... Dior bag, which was from Lux Cheshire. My makeup's actually turned out really good. I picked up a different powder um, to try, so I'll have to show you guys that tomorrow, but I feel like my under eye is finally looking smooth again. <laughs> What 
a gorgeous night that was we've just got back i think it's about 25 to 12 so i'm very nearly finished currently debating staying up to order a shake shack and maybe order a dessert for room service but oh my god it was absolutely incredible firstly the royal albert hall is just like such a gorgeous venue i actually went there for my brother's graduation a few months ago and i think that was my first time ever going it's just so beautiful inside we had such good seats the orchestra were incredible choirs were incredible i mean i just love anything that involves live music i just think it's so special and so magical so we just got back i've just stole a couple of milky ways where are they from the little trays outside what a cute little touch did you enjoy yourself did you have a fun night i had the best night ever it was it amazing was so should we get one i don't to order it now i don't know <laughs> i'm are like you, i don't know i was about to say are you in this state now where because you've gone because i've gone so long stuff, like you don't know what to do. i know i'm almost like i don't want to break the street i've also made a suggestion that tomorrow i already knew tomorrow morning i want to get room service breakfast because me and Mads have had the breakfast here when we've stayed here previously and it is so delicious. Um, and I'm thinking if we're going to get room service breakfast, I might see if they will also do some mimosas. So that might be like a nice cute little thing to do tomorrow is have like breakfast in bed with some mimosas and have like a really chilled, cozy lie-in because I mean, we never get that at home. <laughs> Having Freddie now, he usually gets us up or like usually because I've got two workouts to do. I get up because I'm like, okay, best fucking crack on. It's 13 minutes to 12. Do you want to look at Dublin the Road? Okay, I'll get a Shake Shack. Okay, I'm gonna order it. Oh my gosh, it just smells delicious. Go on, get them out. Oh, and then so I've woke up which one's yours, which one's mine. Oh my god, that is so good, I can actually cry. Goodness, I look horrendous this morning. No, you don't. You look beautiful. The hair has gone wild. It's currently half 11 because you have had the biggest lion ever. But do you know what? I feel like you really needed that. So I feel fine. like the latest I have actually woken up since like Christmas is probably like half eight. Yeah, probably. I don't feel like I've got a blade in that one. So. Dan has been snoozing very peacefully this morning. Oh, here's your phone, by the way. I did put it on. Um, oh! You got my notifications on. You can't see. That's really cute. Annex Renee just posted. Mm, 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 mm. Now, there's a lot of decisions to be made. We do waffles with whipped cream and berries. They're only 380 calories. That's pretty impressive, actually. I feel like I'm about to do a Kevin in Home Alone where he basically orders, like, the whole menu. <laughs> The main event. Oh. The pancakes is the main event. Wow. The pancakes is the main event. Does that not just want. look perfect? They do look good. They're like crispy on the outside and fluffy in the middle. Mm. This is just a good combination. Mm. Oh my god, this is just such a treat. It is. How lucky are we? Mm. Okay. Best drink of the year! <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be drunk after this one drink, honestly. Please don't I was be. already a lightweight to begin with. Please don't be. Let alone no, seriously, how have they done that? <laughs> I don't know. That's it's impressive. so good. That's seriously impressive. I might have to get those again tomorrow morning. This is tonight's little outfit of the night. I've got this black sparkly dress on from Never Fully Dressed. I actually got this last year and I've not worn it yet, so... I thought I'd wear it tonight for dinner because it's actually very comfortable as well. Hair has been neglected today. The curls unfortunately did not hold at all. So I've just put a bit of oil in it and kind of just shoved it behind my ears in the hopes that that somewhat looks okay. And then I have to say, this is probably my favorite makeup I've done in a while. I feel like I probably said that last night as well, but it's come out perfectly. So yeah, this is tonight's outfit. We're going to Harry's for some pasta, some pizza, and then I think we're going to go to the hotel bar tonight as well. Sunday we're back at mum and dad's Freddie is 
also down here. I've just been editing this vlog so I thought I'd just quickly round it up and yeah just finish it here because I'm probably gonna start next week's vlog soon. But I have just had the best weekend ever. We had so much fun. I have to say I felt really ill today. I feel like I sent myself into some sort of sugar and carb coma. The combination of like the creamy pasta and the pancakes and I don't even know if it was just, I, all I had was one glass of wine so I didn't even really I don't know drink much but i felt awful this morning so watch yourself do not have too many unhealthy things straight after being healthy for 75 days because it pretty much sent my body into shock I'm feeling a little bit better this evening i think we're gonna head home soon and have just like a nice quiet evening so yeah just wanted to round this vlog off thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed spending my last week of 75 hard with me and our little weekend to london away i hope you're all having a lovely weekend as well however you're spending it and yeah i will see you guys in next week's